Butler, it's Joe Butler here. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little quick little tour and show you around my setup of my home theater I have. I uh, hope you guys like it, so stick around and enjoy. Alright guys, I hope you don't mind if I'm doing this freehand. My uh, tripod definitely isn't the best for this. Uh, I'll start over here with the door. Uh, this is the door that leads into the movie room. Um, painted the walls entirely black. So if you guys can see that. But I guess we'll start over in this corner. Uh, over here, it's pretty much just uh, got two Captain America posters. Actually, canvas art. Um, got two of those. Uh, I have some shelves up here. This is a Spartan mask I'm working on right now. Perplexes. Uh, a couple of Avengers and um, Hallmark like ornaments. Um, statues, type of like things like that. And Iron Man mask. And that's just on two shelves. Um, below that, uh, it's just this table with an RCA uh, 5.1 surround sound. I uh, definitely did this theater on a budget, so, you know, use what we had, really. Uh, we have this cool Coca-Cola mini fridge. Um, Home Depot. Uh, that's all, all you need to know. Uh, if we move over to this corner, it's just a funky chair there. Uh, I had this New York City, like, I don't know what you want to call it, like a mural on the wall. Hawk poster, uh, MacBook Pro, my pretty awkward dog. There is two recliners right now. Uh, I have leather on the way. I'd like to get more of like a sectional to put in like the corner. Um, window, shade. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the um, projector here. This here is the um, the NEC, I think it's the VT695. Uh, I think I got that thing for like $80 online. Uh, I needed a new bulb, but for $80, you really can't beat that, so. I don't really think I lost out on that too bad. Uh, I know the wires are a mess right now. Um, I haven't really done much management yet. kind of need to update some stuff. But right now, mainly what I use is a Mac Mini for pretty much all my streaming. Uh, I put like a 2 terabyte hard drive in there. Pretty much has everything on there. Uh, there's an Xbox 360 and Xfinity X1. Uh, definitely cable management isn't that great right now. This projector only has VGI, VGA and uh, DVI input. So... I mean, I think you can probably get like 720p out of it. And that's just all sitting up on a shelf. Like I said, the cable management up there is pretty bad. Um, down in this corner, and it was dark, but um, I just have a monitor sitting down there and one of the surround speakers. Um, on this wall here, we have a Star Wars poster and a Marvel's Avenger poster. Also, we have a really cool, I really like this. It's a popcorn machine, and it's fully functional, and it's really big. Uh, probably a little bit overkill, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, down there, it's just my uh, charger for my camera. Closet. Uh, not much in there, but a bunch of wires and old tech stuff. As you can see in this corner... And that corner of the screen are also two more of the surround speakers. This screen is actually a screen that I made. It's a remnant cloth. Um, I'm going to say it's around 100, maybe 160, 170 inch screen. Uh, you can see the subwoofer down there, two surrounds, and there's also two rear surround speakers in the back. Down on the ground there is a 32 inch TV. Um, when I do gaming or play anything like that, I really don't like playing on a big screen, so I usually just set that up on the table here and play. Um, pretty much the surround sound, I didn't mention it, but it's a RCA. 
uh, 5.1 surround sound. On the table here is pretty much everything I use to control it. Uh, I have the Apple keyboard, Apple mouse, Logitech mouse, Xfinity X1 surround sound, 360 and uh, Beats headphones. As you can see, this is the screen that I built. It's a 170 inch um, screen. It's actually got, um, I think, two by one boards, pretty much in a rectangle frame with a brace down the center. This is um, permanent cloth. I think I got this off Amazon for like $27. I think the only difference between remnant and brand new is the remnant, remnant cloth has a few flaws or defects in it, or has the possibility of having a couple of flaws in it. Mine, from personally, from what I got, had it didn't have a single mark on it, so I mean I really can't complain about this. So I think this entire screen probably cost me I don't know, maybe forty dollars to do with all the materials. Four. Take his pants off. So what you're seeing hey, now, you uh, I hope this doesn't do right? copyright, a little bit of Blue Mountain State, but um this is what the projector looks like with um lighting and like your lights turned on. Um, it's definitely not bad for, uh, you know, with, with having the lights on and everything. It's definitely a lot better with the lights off. But, I mean, if you ever need to use it with the lights on, I don't think that you'll be disappointed. Um, it's not super bright. I think this thing is only 2,500 lumens. So, um, yes, I definitely think it does okay for, uh, for, uh, lighted conditions. I'll also give you a show you what it looks like with the lights off. What you're seeing now is the projector in pretty much complete darkness. Uh, I definitely think it has a pretty good picture. Hey guys, so I hope you liked that video. Um, my camera's giving me a little bit of issues, so I switched to my iPhone. Um, like I said, I think anyone could do this project. It was really cheap, so I think you guys should definitely give it a try. Um, if you guys have any recommendations for any other videos I should try making, I'm pretty new to this, so I'm not going to say these videos are good at all, they're probably really bad, but I think if I keep trying at it, I think they should improve, so if you guys have any ideas or anything you'd like to need to try to make a video on, uh, definitely just let me know in the comments. Um, definitely appreciate you guys watching, uh, like, rate, and um, I don't even think you can rate anymore. Uh, give this video a like and, uh, you know, subscribe and have a good day.